Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing this little um, reindeer from Johanna's Christmas. Now this is um, on the um, very back page, the colour palette colour palette test page but I always think it's fun to do these little motifs that are at the end as well. Now my page here does look a little bit mucky, um, the black colour from the um, cover has come off a little bit on it but I'm just going to ignore that, I'm not going to try and erase it, it might rub up, come off with an eraser but I'm just going to leave it and we're just going to go ahead and uh, colour our reindeer. So we're going to start off with doing the little reindeer now I tend to do them so that the body is a little bit darker brown than the antlers so I'm going to pick one of my slightly darker brown pencils now I'm going to use the polychromos pencils for this now this is the burnt umber and I'm going to go over most of him all of well maybe not his tail but the rest of him in just a very gentle layer to start with of this colour now that's it now the polychromos I find do often benefit from having several layers put down but I find with a small picture I can more easily just overlap and get quite a few layers just with one application as you see the technique I'm using I'm going back over what I've coloured already a few times anyway so but when I colour a big space so I was doing this background which I'm not going to do it's far too much um, it, I would probably do one, uh, do it much more quickly and then I would need several layers. Now, of course if you're going to do lots of different colours, um, you know if you want to combine colours and things like that then it would be sensible to do a lighter layer. Now I've done this I'm thinking about where's there going to be a bit of shadow. Now here under his belly it's going to be a bit darker. As you can see I'm just putting a bit of a darker layer down here and I'm going to fade it into the rest like that and he's probably also going to have a dark bit here like that just fade it up it's not very well blended there we go and then maybe down here I'm not going to take it too far because I don't want it to interfere with that bit and a little bit along here out of the lines I go as usual and a little bit there. Now the feet I think would probably be a darker brown or black. I haven't I haven't really studied reindeer in great detail so this is just my black which is the 199 and I'm just going to do those little hooves over in a bit of black. There we go, it's not very sharp but you get the idea. Now the tail I'm going to do a lighter colour I'm probably going to use this one, it's very short, this is the Nougat, I'm pretty sure, which is 178, I will have a list, look how blunt it is as well, I will pop a list of what I've used in the description so you can double check. So, uh, and I'm going to do the tail with this lighter colour, I'm going to press quite lightly too because I want it to look lighter than the rest, it looks fairly dark, and the antlers as well, or the antler, we've only got one. Now to me that looks a little bit darker than I had intended so I'm going to pop some lighter colour over the top so I'm going to go in with this, this is the warm grey 2, sorry I'm holding it out short which is not very useful, there we go, warm grey 2. I'm just going to pop a layer on top and it will help to sort of blend it better because it was a quite a rough quick layer and hopefully tone it down a little bit and there we go and now for the nose now this could be Rudolph it may not be but you know in my head it is so I'm going to pop some scarlet red on there although hmm yeah maybe something else hang on um, just reaching for a pen Yes, I think a red glitter pen might look rather... Oh, leave it till the end or else I'm going to smudge it when I do the holly. Now I'm going to take that same red to do these berries. Now that's partly because it will tie in, partly through laziness. It just happens to be in front of me so I use it. Now I don't want those berries just to be the one shade of red though so I'm going to grab my um, middle cadmium red. Oh, there you go. 
and do a little bit of darker colour at the bottom. Now these are quite small and fiddly, you could just leave it with the one shade, that's up to you, but I think it just adds a little bit of life to it somehow. So there we go, and now we need some greens for the holly. Um, what shall I use? It's got a lovely set of greens here in the polychromos. I'm going to use, this as one of my favourite greens, this is the permanent green olive. I've just got to sharpen it. There we go. And I'm going to do an even layer across the whole of this holly to start with. And then we'll add a little bit of um, different shading on it. There's a lot of holly in this book, which is good fun to colour, I think. There are lots of different ways to approach it. what I'm going to do with this one. Now I'm going to do these two leaves the same colour and then those bits I shall do slightly differently. You see I'm doing them slightly lighter but we'll see whether I stick with that as I work through. I'm going to add another shade of green onto the holly. I'm just having a look around. I'm going to use my hooker's green. I could show you it but it's uh, teeny. And what I'm going to do is add a few, I say highlights but they're dark, add some colour where I think it would be darker, so near the berries and in each of these sort of spiky bits and then leave it a little bit paler in the middle. There are so many different ways that you can colour holly but um, I've shown you some different ways in various different videos so I think it's nice to give you a few different ideas of what you might do. Now that isn't very well blended. We shall do some work on that in a minute. And this one again, just a little bit. And a little bit. Now I don't really want to darken the middle too much, but I just want to mush it together, or smush it together. So I'm going to grab my leaf green. It's such an enormous pencil. Whoop, it's rolled into my lap and uh, just mix it up there. And you can see it just looks a bit neater. It brings those colours together. And the same here. Now these ones I'm going to do in a different colour. Um, I'm just having a look at what I've got. I think we're going to go for this one which I'm going to sharpen. This is the... Um, this is the um, permanent green. Let's see if I can get that into the light for you to see. There we go. Um, I'm not going to colour the whole leaf in this colour there. I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm going to do a few layers so it's quite dark down here and then fade it up to the end. There we go. And the same here. So just exactly the same technique with all of the leaves. And on the ends of the leaves I'm going to add in a little bit of brown but I want it to be quite warm so I'm not going to use one of the brown browns like we did on on here I'm going to use the sanguine 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 I'm not sure I need to sharpen it because it's warmer and redder and I think it'll look nicer with the berries so with this I'm going to go in quite hard on the tip and then very gently blend it into the green. Oops. There we go. And last of all, we're going to do our red, not last actually, hang on. We're going to go for a white first, the um, white jelly roll. And we're going to do the, a little bit of white on each berry. 
there we go I think that makes such a difference and then we're going to do some sparkle on his nose there we go you could add the sparkle to the berries but uh, I'm just showing you some different ideas so then we can tip it up to the light I don't know if it's going to sh pick up the sparkle oh sorry no I can't get it to shine you'll just have to take my word for it though we've got a sparkly glittery nose there I'm not sure if any sparkle came out of my pen actually but anyway I'm gonna try again uh, there's definitely some now but whether I can pick it up on the camera is another matter Oh, uh, well, never mind. But there we go. You get the idea, hopefully, that uh, of, of what we were trying to do. So there we go. There's our little um, deer, um, reindeer, and uh, sort of leaf, leafy bit. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And happy colouring.